After seeing some recent questions on the internet, I wanted to take the time today to explain some of the somewhat confusing Bombardier Canada regional jet variants. This video will be covering the CRJ 440, 550, and 705, and taking a look at what they actually are. All three of these aircraft are exactly what we described them as in the intro, variants to other CRJ airframes. The 440, 550, and 705, although their own types, are just modified or reconfigured interiors of other CRJs. Each aircraft has no difference in airframe, engines, avionics, or anything else like that from the CRJ type it was built off of. In this video, we will start with the smallest aircraft, that being the CRJ-440. The CRJ-440 was originally delivered to Pinnacle Airlines and operated for Northwest Airlink. The 440 is really just a CRJ-200 with a different interior. This aircraft featured a 44-seat cabin with a large closet, whereas a normal CRJ-200 had 50 seats. The reason behind this variant was due to the pilot contract and the scope clause. At the time, Northwest's pilot contract limited the number of 50-seat aircraft the regional carriers could fly. According to Bombardier's production list, 75 of the 440 model were built and all delivered to Pinnacle. All the aircraft that were originally delivered as CRJ-440s have since been converted to CRJ-200s and now have the standard 50-seat interior. Because of this conversion, there are technically no more CRJ-440s left in the world since they are all 200s now. Let's take a look at serial number 7733 on the CRJ production list as an example. November 8733 Golf was delivered as a CRJ-440 but then converted to a CRJ-200. In this example, the aircraft kept its registration or N number the same and will always keep its serial number since it's unique to that and only that specific airframe. The next aircraft we will cover is one of the newest variants, that being a CRJ-550, which is currently only operated by GoJet on behalf of United. The CRJ-550 is a newly configured interior on an old CRJ-700 airframe, featuring 50 seats in a three-class cabin configuration as well as added galley and closet space. A standard United CRJ-700 has 6 first class, 16 economy plus, and 48 economy seats for a total of 70 seats, where the CRJ-550 platform has 10 first class, 16 economy plus, and 20 economy seats. As the last CRJ-700 was produced in 2018 and orders for the CRJ line are no longer being taken due to its sale to Mitsubishi, all CRJ-550 originally started or will have started their lives as CRJ-700s, meaning a CRJ-550 will never roll off the Bombardier assembly line. Like the other two variants, the airframe, engine, avionics, etc. are all the same of the aircraft it came from. The max takeoff and landing weights have been lowered in order to get around a scope clause. We can again reference the CRJ production list for an example. Taking a look at serial number 10005, November 600 Quebec X-Ray started as a CRJ-700. Although it was re-registered to November 501 Golf Juliet when it was converted to a CRJ-550, it is still the same aircraft it was serial number-wise when it was a 700. The last aircraft we will cover today is the CRJ-705. The 705, like the previous two aircraft we have discussed, is just a larger aircraft with less seats than normal. The 705 is the 75 seat variant of the CRJ-900 which normally holds 76 to 90 seats depending on the seating configuration. Air Canada Jazz was the only customer of the 705, using it again to get around a scope clause like the other two aircraft discussed. The Air Canada 705 holds 10 business class and 65 economy seats, where the standard Air Canada CRJ-900 it was derived from has 12 business class and 64 economy seats for a total of 76 seats. According to the production list, a total of only 19 705s were built. Air Canada announced in 2016 it would reconfigure the cabin of its 705s to 76 seats, which would convert them into CRJ 900s. Referencing the CRJ production list again, we will take a look at serial number 15050. Air Canada, Charlie, Golf, Fox, Juliet, Zulu, started its life as a CRJ-705 before being converted into a 900, while keeping its same registration. I hope you guys found this information helpful and it cleared up some of the questions, especially those about the new CRJ-550 platform. This is the second aircraft technical info video I have done, 
so check out the 737 Next Gen vs. Max video we recently published. If you like this type of content or want to see a video on different technical aircraft topic, please comment below. Thanks for watching.